Ukrainian forces struck the Russian tank, which triggered a fiery explosion. The footage captured from miles away shows an isolated tank in the middle of a field. But the seemingly quiet scene was disrupted by the sheer power of the ammunition, which hit the heavy vehicle. Russian forces have suffered a military setback in the southern Ukrainian region of Kherson. The new commander of the Russian troops, Sergei Surovikin, acknowledged that the military situation was complicated. The situation in the area of the special military operation can be described as tense, he told the state-owned Russia 24 television news channel in an interview. The enemy continually attempts to attack the positions of Russian troops. First of all, this concerns the Kupiansk, Lyman, and Mykolaiv Krivi sectors. Seen how when Ukrainian special forces targeted with drones, attacked Russian artillery in Kherson. As reported by the Washington Post, the Ukrainian army saw it was about 25 miles away deep into Russian-occupied Ukrainian territory. It was a Russian artillery battery positioned in a thin slice of the tree line. The drone operator, Leonid Slobodian, started counting out loud as he zoomed in and took screenshots of the findings. He saw at least five guns, trucks that probably carried ammunition inside, and counter-battery radar. This was what the Ukrainian military calls a fat target. Beside him, Oleksandr Kapli fired off a voice message to the members of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade also watching the drone camera. Russian forces in Ukraine's southern Kherson region are attempting to hold the front line near the town of Dudchiny. Ukraine's military, meanwhile, is trying to take back even more ground before reinforcements from Russian troops' mobilization arrive. The Falcon unit of the Krivi Re Territorial Defense Forces allowed Washington Post journalists a rare look at a day of battle here through the lens of their Ukrainian made Leleka 100 drone. Russia has more weapons than Ukraine, so strikes on fat targets, armored vehicles, ammunition reserves, and artillery, like the one the Falcon unit identified, is how Ukraine can weaken its Russian army and advance. In the Kherson region, where the terrain wide open fields, hiding of equipment from reconnaissance drones is a challenge for each side. The Falcon unit was able to see through the trees. It located the Russian artillery battery, helped Ukraine's own artillery target it, and then watched as parts of it were destroyed. Our task is to determine how many reserves are coming in, how strong these Russian fortifications now are, and to track all of the military equipment, Kapli said. Then we convey all of that to artillery forces, and they shell everything possible. The recent Russian retreat allowed the unit to move forward into recently liberated villages, and fly over territory previously out of its camera's range. They launched their drone from a trench line the Russians had used for themselves until this week. With the help of a Starlink satellite internet system, they worked from 8 a.m. until sunset. Around 2.45 p.m., they launched the drone for its penultimate flight of the day. Within minutes, it spotted smoke on the horizon, near where they identified the enemy artillery battery for the 128th Brigade. Falcon's job now was to keep its camera trained on the area and confirm that the US provided artillery was striking accurately as shells landed along the tree line. Soldiers crowded around the computer screen and cheered as they watched the explosions in real time. At least we have something to be happy about today, Kapli said in a voice note to his comrade in the 128th Brigade. Besides, despite the recent dramatic escalation in the war in Ukraine, with Russia unleashing a new wave of missile strikes against Ukrainian cities, the Russian military leadership on the battleground is increasingly dysfunctional, according to an assessment by the British Ministry of Defense. Nearly nine months into the invasion of Ukraine, which began on February 24, the latest British intelligence suggests that Russian troops on the ground are suffering from a worsening shortage of capable Russian junior officers who are badly needed to organize and lead newly mobilized reservists. According to reports, the recently drafted troops are being sent to the front after receiving little to no training. A high number of Russian officers have reportedly been killed in Ukraine since February, including a number of generals, colonels, and majors. Already in late May, the British Ministry of Defense said that Russia was suffering devastating losses, especially among the mid- and junior-ranking officers, pushed to the front of the action. 
According to the British Ministry of Defence, poor lower-level leadership is likely worsening the low morale and poor unit cohesion in many parts of the Russian force. The consistent lack of capable leadership on the battleground is also behind Russia's lack of notable success in Ukraine. According to the British Ministry of Defence, despite the fact that four of the five generals who had direct operational command of elements of the invasion in February have now been dismissed, their replacements have so far done little to improve Russia's battlefield performance.